my fellow Zambians, I speak to you with a very heavy heart. Never before in our history have we witnessed such high levels of mediocrity, corruption, greed, and neglect. I will emphasize, never before have we witnessed such high levels of mediocrity, corruption, greed, and neglect than we are witnessing at this stage. It seems that everywhere we turn, every single day, every time we open the newspaper, we see new stories of plunder of our national resources or the handing over to foreign nationals of assets that should be left to posterity and to our children and their children's children. Most recently, we have witnessed hearings in respect of a transaction which started some years ago and has culminated in the issuance of a digital license as part of the digital migration policy to a private entity based on the borrowing by this government of $273 million. Now, to date, that money has remained unaccounted for. We have urged the president to immediately institute an inquiry to get to the bottom of how this money was utilized, where it went to, who it was paid to, and if it is still there, which bank it is sitting in. There are many unanswered questions around the digital migration issues. Zambia is a rich country, endowed with everything we need to take care of every single citizen in this nation. But unfortunately, as we have seen most recently with questionable and dubious transactions that remained unexplained, we are not headed in the right direction. The award of a tender to Topstar in order to facilitate the digital migration has violated both the law and the policy of this nation. The policy itself is quite clear that no license carrier, which is what Topstar is, can itself be a service provider offering channels to end users. This has created an unfair advantage for the entity that is supposed to be the license carrier facilitating local broadcasters to provide you with the variety of news that you need. This is a fundamental violation of the right to access to information. Because over time, what is going to happen and what has already started to happen is that these broadcasters have lost advertising revenue, they've lost the ability to control what they play on their channels and at what time, because they're forced to do things which the license carrier is imposing upon them. And all this is being done with the tacit approval of the authorities in this administration that should be protecting your interests by protecting the interests of these local broadcasters. What will result is a reduction, a significant reduction of the kind of news that you can consume. You will no longer be hearing the stories that show what's really going on in this country. And instead, what you're going to get is standard, unjustified propaganda proclaiming the hard work of an administration that is more akin to Sodom and Gomorrah. It's high time that we rose up as a nation and said enough is enough. We need a commission of inquiry. We need proper accounting. We need a full investigation as to where the $273 million that was supposedly loaned to a private company in order to do the rollout of the digital migration, setting up the transmission lines in various provinces. Now, when you just look at the maths, the whole story does not add up. How can we as a nation spend $9 million to do the phase one rollout of the digital migration, which covered six provinces, and then we 
go and contract a loan for $273 million in order to do the completion of phase two, which only covered four provinces. Now, you don't have to be a genius in maths to see that there's something seriously wrong with that calculation. Where has this money gone? In which count, account is it sitting if it is still there? Who was it paid to? If you ask the questions, you are not getting satisfactory or straightforward answers. The Minister of Broadcasting is running away, hiding. The Parliamentary Committee that has been established to look into this issue must get to the bottom of what has transpired. There are too many young people who are dying simply because they can't get access to clean water or medication. There are too many young children who are leaving school to sell their labor for 20 or 30 kwacha a day to work as a maid if they're lucky. And there are too many young girls that are entering prostitution at a very early age simply because they don't have the means or the skill or the capacity to be able to fend for themselves. This must stop. We must get to the bottom of what transpired with Topstar. It's not enough for Mr. Chimba Kambwiri to simply say that as minister he was left out of this. Those issues should have been raised at that time and it's not too late now for him to appear before the committee and make whatever statements on record that will help us to get to the bottom of this issue. It's not too late for the former permanent secretary to also turn up and speak before this committee. We demand an accounting. We demand this not just for the generations that are struggling to make ends meet today in an economy that has been destroyed by the lack of fiscal discipline by an administration that seems to care only about how quickly it can line its pockets. But we need this for future generations. We need this for our grandchildren, your grandchildren, my grandchildren, who will wonder when they look back on this time and they will ask themselves, was there no one who was ready to stand up, demand the truth, no one who was courageous enough, brave enough to call out this administration for the Sodom and Gomorrah that they are creating for themselves and infecting the rest of us with the destruction that will be reaped upon us because we've given our country away. This must stop. My appeal to every Zambian is to demand accountability, is to demand transparency. Let's get to the bottom of what they did with the $273 million. Let this be investigated and let the consequences fall wherever the blame will lie. I appeal to you as a father, I appeal to you as a son who lost his mother in a terrible road traffic accident and almost lost his father because the medical facilities were not suitable to save life. This is a story that many of you have witnessed personally. Many of you have lost loved ones because of the neglect, the mediocrity, and the corruption. It must stop. Please join us in this campaign, in this crusade, to get to the bottom, to demand answers. We urge those that are working on the committee within Parliament to be thorough and to leave no stone unturned, to verify any statement that's made by any of the people that will be presenting their evidence, to get to the bottom of why a permanent secretary can smile and laugh his way through a very serious session that calls upon each of us to demand the best of the people that we have chosen to lead this nation. Let's now look for true leaders. And those true leaders don't just reside in our politics. They are everywhere. They are in your very home. But we must summon the courage that it takes to be true leaders and demand what's rightfully ours as a nation. Or else we're going to wake up one day and find that the entire country has been sold. And the people that will have sold it will have moved on with their millions and will then have to go through very expensive processes to trace them and to bring them to justice. But I can assure you, bring them to justice, we shall. Because we serve a God 
who sees the injustice for what it is and in his own time will bring about the retribution that each of us wants to see. Let us demand answers, but let us also demand of ourselves the sense of civic responsibility that cries out for each of us to protest at the rape and pillage of our nation. If you look at this top star deal, you will also see that the advertising which is being conducted on the top star bouquets is utilizing channel and content which belongs to the local content providers and they're not getting paid for it. Some of the material which is being produced by our local Zambian media houses is being broadcast in other parts of the continent. They are not being paid for it. And yet they are being asked to pay sums of money, huge sums of money, in order to give you access to genuine, legitimate news that is not just singing the praises of those who happen to be in power. This must stop. I thank you.